What's up, fellas? So I had a loyal patron supporter that wanted to know the traits that make a woman toxic, okay? As y'all guys might have seen the video about traits that make a man toxic. So this is where he got that idea from. And as you guys know, women are not fucking perfect. They have plenty of traits that make their ass even more toxic than a man. All right, so let's get into it. Y'all know I got my fucking list. So let's get into it. And, and this, I didn't put all of them in order, guys, but this first one is the number one most important one you guys, but particularly you red pill guys are gonna get from women if you're a catch. Now, if you're sleeping on your mama's couch, you know, and working at the 7-Eleven, you probably ain't gonna have this issue. But for all my guys who have become, you know, went to school, got their trades, and they're into their career, and they making, you know, 80, 90, 100 grand a year, and they got their shit together, one thing you're gonna get constantly from women guys, particularly if you're a red pill guy, is you're gonna get women that are gonna constantly try to progress the relationship. And it gets fucking annoying, okay? As we red pill brothers, even, you know what, fuck the red pill, even if you purple pill. If you're a purple pill guy, right, and you have your shit together, you like to take your fucking time because you have options. You like to take your time. Even if you're a purple pill guy, you're like, hey, you know, I'm looking for a wife, but I ain't no hurry. I make sure I want to weigh all my options. You know, you have options. You know, when you got a free agent player in the NBA, he don't sign with the first team that give him a contract. If he's an all-star quality player, he want to see all his options. You know, that's just the way it is. Now, if you call somebody up from the G League and you offer their ass a country, they taking the first goddamn thing. They ain't like, well, let me, I'll get back to you tomorrow and let me, let me, let me sleep on. Hell no, I'm ready to sign right now. He ain't got no options. Fucking, we in the NBA All-Star game. God damn, I take my time. But women ain't gonna let you take your time if you got your shit together. And it gets fucking annoying, guys. So if you got a woman that's constantly pressuring you, and, if you, and, and this is in stages, guys. If you are dating a woman, she's gonna constantly peg you, you know, push, 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 push. Unless you just made it, you know, like me, guys. And I can get away with this because I'm very well off. I don't know, I don't want to act like the average man could do what I can do. I'm, 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 you know, I'm aware that women are going to take a little bit more off of me than they are the average guy. And a woman that dates Puffy is going to take more shit off of him than she would take off of me, right? Because he has more than what I have, all right? So it's, it's, it's levels to this shit, right? You know, it's levels to this, right? I don't know if I can get away with telling a woman you know, I'm just, you know, I date around. I, I'm not really looking for nothing. I don't, and, and they just cool with it, right? I don't know if that that goes as good if I'm a $40,000 a year construction worker. I don't know if that flies as easy. I think most of you guys will agree with that, that a woman is going to be more patient with me and thinking like, well, you know, I'll take my chances winning him over than the guy who's a construction worker. That's just obvious, right? So, Understand that, but I I just tell a woman straight out from the get go, guys. Now I'm in a position I can I can just do that because I got way more options than the average guy that I'm just dating, you know. So they don't bother me. And do some women come with this? I'm dating with intentions or I'm dating with purpose bullshit. Even them guys, not all of them, but even a lot of the women that I meet that I go out with, and they tell me they dating with intentions. Ah, they kind of seem to forget that they told me that. And I'm thinking to myself, why she's sucking my dick? I'm thinking, was she dating with intentions or sucking with intentions? Yeah, because I, you know, it seemed like shit done changed a little bit. I don't know what it is. Yeah, she was dating with intentions. And it's like, God damn, this dude well off. Right, maybe I relax a little bit on the date with intentions. So you guys get a little bit more leeway as you accomplish more. Anybody will tell you that, guys. But do not let women nag you with trying to progress things from the dating phase to the boyfriend phase to the marriage phase. All right? And they would nag you. Most, let me tell you something. If you're a high value man and you got your shit together and she really likes you, what, if a woman, if you wasn't that and she wanted that, I'm telling you right now, she'll be out a lot sooner. She wouldn't nag. She'd nag you about two or three times. Her ass gone. Yeah, she'll nag you. If you are the average Joe out here, she'll nag your ass about two times about, you know, 
hey, what, what, what are we? After about two or three times and your ass ain't came to no conclusion, that woman's going to be gone. If you're a high value man, she'll get to nagging your ass, nagging your ass, nagging your ass. Be like, God damn, won't this motherfucker just leave? Now, she probably will leave eventually one day, right? Eventually one day. I don't give a fuck how much you got here. Cassie left Puffy out for a while. It took 20 years, but she eventually left. All right, so at some point, she probably will leave no matter what the fuck you got. But she's going to nag you. I, you know, I would love to ask Puffy, how much did Cassie nag you about, you know, marriage? I guarantee you would tell you, man, that bitch nagged me all the goddamn time. And that shit is toxic as hell, guys. So what I would tell you guys, particularly if you're dealing with this situation, after a while, probably just tell a woman, you know what? I'm just, I'm just having fun. You know, I don't, I don't know about nothing serious or nothing. Not right now anyway. To kind of nip that shit in the bud, all right? So that way, at that point, she can make a decision on what the fuck she want to do. But more importantly, you're bringing peace into your life. Bitch, stop asking. That's what, that's what you're doing. Bitch, stop asking. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't call me. I'll call you. Okay, guys? Next testing too much. Now, we all know women are going to test masculine frame. I don't give a fuck if you shit with a masculine frame, sleep with a masculine frame. Women are going to test that what they do. You can't stop it. But guys, from my experience, women test once or twice a month, you know, where you see a little pushback on something you say. If you got a girl that's testing once or twice a week, that's the, uh, even worse, every other day or some shit like that, guys. Guys, you got to analyze your situation. Analyze your situation. If you come in the house acting like Looney Tunes, <laughs> acting all friendly and goofy, and she's testing like that, then by all means. But if you're a guy and you can analyze the situation, you like, man, you know, I don't play around. I'm not goofy like that. And yet she's still testing. Guys, that is done intentionally. All right. That is done. She's going to do it regardless of how you acting. Most women only test when you're showing weakness. Some women are just going to test just to test because they're bored. All right. And that is toxic. You don't want no woman who just tests just to test. If you texting a woman three times a day and telling her you love her three times a day, you got damn right. She's going to test. But if you're a man and you know you're not doing that and you're not giving her all this validation and she's just testing because she's bored and it's a sport to her and she need turmoil every fucking day, the bitch got to go. The bitch got to go. And you know what? Even for the first one, when I said she's constantly trying to progress things all the time, fast and pushing and shit, even that bitch might have got to go. It depends on how much she's getting on your fucking nerves. All right. So when I say these women are toxic, you got to analyze the situation and say, is this even worth keeping? So what I'm saying is in some of this shit in this video, some of these bitches got to go. And if a girl is testing too much, that bitch got to go. You know why? Because she's disturbing your peace. Guys, let's <clears throat> sex is good. We all love sex. I love sex. You love sex. Your daddy loves sex. Your mom, everybody loves sex. But contrary to popular belief, guys, sex is not the number one thing a woman brings to a man's life. It's peace. Peace. You know why you go settle down with a girl and make her your girlfriend or make her your wife? For peace. And what's the peace? So I don't have to deal with the rest of these trifling ass bitches out here. That's why we always get happy when we got a good girl or somebody to marry. Because now I can hang up my jersey and not deal with all these goddamn attention-seeking ass bitches. She's brought peace to your life. If you're in the dating game, there's no peace. There is no peace. These bitches are fucking annoying. That's why you see celebrities get married. Guys who you know can get any woman they want, they get down and get married because they're like, I don't have to deal with all these trifling ass bitches in the street no more. And if she's taking away peace, what's her purpose? If you're in the dating game, you go through it. I don't give a fuck what you look like, how short or tall you is, how good looking you is, how ugly you is. You're going to deal with games from women because they're children. 
That's a, they can't handle attention. They, 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 you're going to deal with gangs. I don't care who you is. You settle down because you're like, I don't want to deal with that shit no more. I got a girl that's going to bring peace to my life. And if you got a bitch that's testing too much, what, what's the point? She's took away the reason why she's there. Women are going to test, but guys, once or twice a month. If you get more than that, you got to ask yourself, what's the purpose of them? You might as well be out here dealing with these scallywags then. Next, guys, purposely manipulating too, much, too often. Now, guys, now, let, I got I to gotta analyze this situation the correct way. Women lose interest in a relationship. All right. But what from my experience and my life experience, when women lose interest, it, you can't from from what I've seen, it's a difference between a woman being mad at you. And when she lost interest from my experience, I've never seen it go back up. Hey, maybe y'all guys got a magic dick and I don't know about or something and you could bring a woman's interest back up. So if you see a woman going hot and cold, that's manipulation. A woman don't go hot and cold from day to day. That's bullshit. She's being toxic on purpose. She's fucking with your head on purpose. Now, women have estrogen and they go through their emotions and stuff like this and they have their bad days. Hell, I don't. Well, everybody got estrogen. Women got testosterone. Men got estrogen. So even I, even we men, we have our days, right? We don't walk around every day with big old Kool-Aid Kool smile on our face. Oh, the day is so... Everybody got their days where they're they, they not in a good mood, all right? Women are no exceptions, all right? They get in a bad mood. We get in a bad mood. Everybody get in a fucking bad mood. But when you see it up and down every other day, unless the bitch is bipolar, well, she need to go get some fucking medicine for that. She's doing the shit on fucking purpose. How one day you, and the next day, oh, baby, I love you so much, and the next day you. So unless the bitch diagnosed as bipolar, she is purposely being toxic on purpose to fuck with you. You don't need to deal with that. You'll have some women, guys, if you've been around the game long enough, you'll see some women, their emotions change from the date to date. This date, they was happy to see you. The very next date, they not the next that's done on purpose guys they're just toxic individuals throwing you these mixed signals don't think for one instance it's done without intentions guy it is done on purpose like i sit here and tell you guys women are just all they just <laughs> you know it's bad when it's in the bible god wrote in the bible you'll never understand the ways of a woman that's in the bible do you know how fucked up of an individual or a creature you have to be for God himself to say, I don't understand these bitches and I made them. Yeah, you know, you, do you have any idea how fucked up in the head you have to be for God himself to say, hell, I don't know. You tell me. So guys, when you see this manipulation going, she cold today, she's sucking you off the next. That's done to fuck with your goddamn head on purpose. Next, guys, trying to get attention all the time in a relationship or with a significant other. Unless unless you like me, guys, unless you like me, I don't have a problem with it. It don't bother me. And I think that a lot of that goes to me just being like, you know, red pill and not, you know, falling in love with girls and stuff like that. So let me speak with my purple pill hat when I used to do relationship. Well, even when I was in relationship, it never bothered me. But that's me. Like I tell y'all guys all the time, this is individual. For a lot of guys, and this is not insecurity, guys. This, this is not insecurities, right? Because it's a level of respect that if it's an issue with you, why is your ass cheeks out? You in a relationship? Who, 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 who you trying to look good for? Now, I'm not saying you got to dress like a monk. I'm not saying you got to dress like a monk and, 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 and with a Habib all over your head and shit like you in the, uh, 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 um, one of the Islam countries or nothing like that. No, I ain't. But we, we don't need no see-through bras. We don't need no see-through shirts. No, no, no. We don't need to do that. 
Well, we do not need to do that. If you got a woman that's doing that and doing this type of thing, trying to get attention all the time, and, and this is an issue for you where you like the woman to, hey, if you're single and you want to be half naked, fine. But come in a relationship, I want you to be a little bit more conservative with your, the way you dress. If that's, that's not an issue for me, but for you guys, if you talk to your woman about that. And guys, don't think, because see, let me tell y'all guys something. Y'all guys got to be up on women. They smart. You know, the only thing women do is throw everything as an insecurity. And you don't even see some of these beta male dating coaches on YouTube talking about everything or insecurity and they red pill and they not in a relationship. So they don't shut, tell a motherfucker to shut the hell up. All right, tell a motherfucker to shut the hell up. They don't know what the hell they talking about. Everybody knows that when you, everybody knows that when you get in a relationship, you have a man out of respect to him, you got to tone that shit down a little bit. I ain't saying you got to wear jeans or slacks every fucking day, but we also don't need to see, you know, the, the ass cheeks out. And that could be because how it becomes toxic, guys, is when you've talked to your woman about this, communication is key. When he's like, hey, you know, I don't like my woman being that exposed. And it becomes toxic when you got to constantly clash about this shit. So if you got a woman that she always needs attention, you know, that's why she's doing it. She always needs that attention. Oh, baby, you can wear tight jeans. I ain't got no problem with that. All right. But we got to bring this down a little bit. I don't need bikini pics on Instagram no more. Yeah, we, we yeah, you gave that up. That them days over with. That's that's not insecurity, guys. That is respect. Okay, flat out. That is respect. That's what I got to say about that. And women, guys, women, women do this shit too. I remember when I had a live-in girlfriend years ago in my twenties. I had my little necklace, right? And I'd go out with my boys, right? She looked at me, why are you putting your jewelry on? You know, well, well, what's up with the jewelry? And you know what? She's, well, what you putting the jewelry on for? What are you trying to attract? Yeah, who, 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 you, who you peacocking for? That's what she wanted to say. Who you, who, who you peacocking for? So women are like this too. That's one of them very tricky ones right there, right? It's like, and I, like I tell you guys, you set the boundaries from the get-go on what's acceptable to you. Because the women going to throw insecurities on, on I, I'm telling you right now, even some of these beta male dating coaches, they'll even tell you that's security. Tell them, suck my dick. That's what you do. Tell them I said that. Tell them, AMS said, suck his dick. Tell them that. Next, guys, trying to make you jealous all the time. This is primarily going to be that when you get around other males, waiters, anything, and you kind of getting a little sexual innuendo, but you kind of like, it's like, ah, it's like, ah, it's like you can't put your hand on it. That is, you, you're not, you're not reading too much. It's what you think it is. She's fucking with you. She might not even, this mother, she might not even find this motherfucker attractive. But since I can fuck with you and build insecurities into you, and play you crazy like you don't see me up here passively flirting in your face. Yes, that is very toxic, guys. And the reason why it's toxic, just like the other one with getting attention, and it, guys, okay, what I just said up earlier, women come into your life to do what? Bring peace. It's trying to make, bring insecurities out of me, bringing peace. Guys, if I was in a relationship, I don't want to do nothing to create insecurities in a woman because they don't do them to make her annoying, right? They don't do them to make her annoying. That's all. Now, if me not telling her she look beautiful every day, then that's her insecure ass. Goddamn, I ain't got to tell you ass you look beautiful every goddamn day. Goddamn, you got to work on that shit. You need to know you look beautiful. But the purpose of being with a significant other, guys, is they're supposed to bring peace, not create insecurities. You up here trying to get attention all the time. You up here trying to uh, flirt and passively flirt and act like I don't see what the fuck I'm saying. And you coming home telling me about, you know, your male friends and stuff and all this other stuff at work and stuff. That's very toxic, guys. Now, I'm not condoning the guy that y'all seen on the episode of uh, Divorce Court. Uh, that was, you know, the one he mentioned my name in divorce court. 
I'm not condoning him. He he's completely off bounds and all kind of shit. And I don't know where the fuck he got that shit from. I, he must watch two videos and don't really understand what the fuck I'm talking about. But she created a lot of those insecurities in him. If you watch the video, look at some of the shit she was doing. Now, he should have just got rid of her as she was for the streets. But the point being is, if you watch the video, you can see that anybody who knows anything could tell that a lot of the shit she was doing was driving those insecurities in him. A woman don't want to bring enhance the insecurities in you. She wants to bring them down. She wants to make you know that this is your pussy. She wants to let you know that this is your woman and that nobody else even has a chance. That's what a good woman does. Not try to heighten your insecurities or make you feel insecure that you know, other guys want her. Women, when a woman is bringing peace to your life, she doesn't fucking do that. So a woman just doesn't bring peace to your life by not yapping and bitching all the time. A woman brings peace to your life by also, you know, letting, taking herself off the market by not dressing like a fucking slut every fucking day and posting Instagram pictures that's half ass naked and passively flirting with guys in your face and stuff just because she wants some fucking attention. That's another component of bringing peace to your fucking life. Next, guys, <clears throat> trying to get you to live outside of your means. Now, guys, women typically know what you make and what you can afford. If you make 40, 50 grand a year and a woman is trying to get you to goddamn go to Paris on a first class trip and live in a goddamn uh, first grade hotel, she is not the right woman for you. And then you know what she do when you can't afford it? Pow. Pow passively. You know, she just, you can't put your fucking finger on it. She's just a little bit quieter this week than she was last week. But you can't fucking, she's not like, she's just soaking a little bit. Not big. Just soaking just a little bit. You can tell she's a little down. And then this causes you to probably do something outside of your living, your means to try to make her happy again. Guys, you do not need that. You do not need women in your life who are trying to get you to do things, trying to get you to go to the most expensive restaurant in town when she know you make $15 an hour. Do that make any fucking sense? Is that bringing peace to your life? Now you're gonna make me feel less than a man because I can't afford to do something that you wanna do. Now I feel like, now I feel like shit. I won't feel like shit, but I know a lot of you guys will. Uh, like I said, once again, guys, when a woman is trying to get you to live outside your means, this is not bringing peace to your fucking life. Who the fuck wants to constantly argue with a woman about we can't go here? We can't go do that because I don't make enough money, bitch. And you know that. Next, guys, <clears throat> aggressive behavior towards you. Guys, I'm not tolerating a woman jumping in my face and shit like that. I, I, I'm not tolerating that shit. It's okay if you got a woman, we can disagree to disagree in a nice, calm demeanor. But I'm not going with the bullshit to where you jumping in my face and, you know, uh, like trying to start an altercation and shit like that. that it, guys, that happened one time, I'm out. We can, we can agree to disagree. We can argue in a nice, calm demeanor. But when they get aggressive towards you and stuff like that right there, that's toxic. That, that's toxic. I, I'm out. Next, guys, let's talk about this one right here. Causing you to get into altercations. Now, all right, this is a little, uh, a little slick one. And I haven't, so one thing I tell you guys is to date women with something to lose. And this one right here will be one of the reasons why. So back in the day, I haven't always dated the quality of women I date now. Back in my backsliding days, in my 20s, primarily, I would date some ratchet ass bitches because they were fine, but they were ratchet. And as any of you guys know, and y'all guys, it don't have to be ratchet. You can date, you know, some professional women that act the same fucking way, act ratchet. So it, it ain't gotta be just ratchet hoes. But I, periodically, when you date these type of women, for some reason or fucking another, they got to speak their mind on some shit and they create altercations with other people, particularly other guys and stuff like this right here. Guys, don't lose what you got dealing with women who like altercations. 
okay? You take one of these girls somewhere, and sooner or later, you know, they got to speak their mind. They got to get it off their chest, and they got to just let somebody know how they feel about a situation. And it causes you to almost get into altercations, if you guys know it. Sometimes these women passively flirt with other guys without you paying attention, which sometimes causes guys to come up and approach her why she's with you because she's passively flirting with him and he thinks like well maybe this is her brother or her cousin or her friend and so he might have come up this is done on purpose because she likes bullshit she likes altercations she likes seeing how you handle situations guys you do not need to be with women who want to see you get physical or check guys so they can get their pussy wet, so they can feel like they're with the protector. Oh yes, women will check to see if you will protect them by passively causing drama and bullshit to see how you handle the situation. Now you guys might can't pick up on this. I pick up on every fucking thing. And women do do this. When you guys are out and you see a woman passively flirting with you while she's with her boyfriend or her date or whatever the fucking situation that is, she might not even be interested in you. She could either be causing, trying to cause him the insecurities as with the flirting or even worse, cause you to come up and approach her thinking that, hey, this guy's her brother or her friend or some bullshit like that. And all this bitch wants to do is cause her man to get into altercations because it gets a little funky pussy wet. If you guys, let me tell you guys something. If any guy, any woman, any guy that comes up and approach a woman while you're with her or while you went to the bathroom, that woman could have shut that shit down from the get go. When that guy tried to, most guys try to make eye contact with a woman to kind of gauge her, gauge her interest, particularly if she's with you. Now, if, if, now if, I, if, if a guy can't get eye contact, then some guys just say, fuck it, I'm going to go anyway. But most guys... It's just human nature, right? You kind of, kind of like, kind of fill her out first to see, kind of, you know, you want to kind of see it, even if she's inviting, you know, if, if you look at a woman and you look at her and then she do this right here, you want to approach her? If I look at a woman and, and, and she look at me and then she turn her head like this, you're like, boy, please, I'm not approaching you. And hell no, look, that shit. But if I look at you and you kind of look at me like, oh, uh, okay, then I'm going to come make the approach. She could have shut that shit down from the get-go. Most women know that. But they like drama and they like bullshit. Don't associate with those type of women, guys. Next, guys, giving you the silent treatment. Now, I made a video a few years back about the silent treatment. And usually it's done when a woman is just giving up on a relationship and she's just checked out and she's tired of talking about it. I'm talking about the silent treatment where... We ain't talked about it, and whenever you can't get your way, you don't communicate, you just don't talk to me. Yeah, that's, that's toxic, guys. Don't deal, with this, don't deal with that type of shit right now. Communication is the key to any relationship. Now, if a woman has communicated an issue with you, and she can't get nothing out of you, no ground, no compromise, or nothing right there, I'll give your ass a silent treatment too. What the fuck? I might well be talking to this fucking wall right here. What the hell am I talking to you for? In that situation, I don't blame her. But if it's a situation that comes up, we have an issue and we haven't communicated on it and you just decide that you're not going to talk to me for a week, guys, that's toxic. That is very fucking toxic and you need to leave that situation. Next, guys, using sex as a weapon. Now, <clears throat> let me speak on this right here right quick. Because I'm watching the 90 Day Fiance shit and... A lot of these guys try to change the dynamics of the relationship. So on the 90 Day Fiance, a lot of these guys, the women are with as beta male providers, right? The guys are overseas. They offer to help them. And then, okay, boom. Then when the guys try to bring the women over and stuff like that, they want to try to change the dynamics of the relationship. And now it shouldn't all be about money. Guys, if you get a woman as a beta male provider and you change the terms of the relationship and you stop the providing, guess what? The ass is going to stop. 
Period. The ass is going to stop. You can't go out here and get a woman as a beta male provider. And then once you think that, okay, she's my girlfriend now. And now you think like, well, I'm not going to do all that providing that I did to get her. And, and now you bewildered that the ass didn't stop. No, you stop. So the ass stopped because she looks at you as a beta male provider. Do not try to change the terms of the fucking contract. Okay. Don't do no fucking bait and switch or the ass is going to stop. I'm talking about the situation where is, is if you're in a relationship, alpha or beta, you're doing what you're supposed to do. And she tries to withhold sex anytime you're not giving her her way or not doing what she says or, you know, just being a bitch in general, then that's an issue. That's an issue. So as if, if, if you're a guy that go into a relationship, guys, this has got to be a deal breaker. There's nothing else to talk about. This is not something we're going to talk about. I'm not going to negotiate no ass. We don't, I'm not negotiating no ass. If you're a guy and she views you as a beta male and you have stopped providing, then well, that's on you. But I'm talking about the guys who are, nothing has changed. Whatever the situation is, nothing has changed. You doing whatever you was doing at the beginning, alpha or beta. And now she's trying to use sex as a weapon. This is a deal breaker for me. It's nothing to fucking talk about. There's nothing to fucking talk about. And if you was an alpha and she was viewing you as an alpha and now her, her interest level has changed and now her attraction level has changed, regardless of why the reason, I'm fucking out. So she used to view me as an alpha. Now she views me as a beta and now she don't want to fuck me no more. Okay, cool. That happens. People lose interest. Sorry, Nara. I'm out. Next, guys, <clears throat> she nags you that you work too much and don't provide her enough attention. But yes, yeah, she like all these nice things. Ain't that fu funny how that works? Guys, women supposed to encourage you and push you to fucking greatness. Okay? Any woman who's trying to pull you away from your purpose that will reach your full potential, she has to fucking go. Now, if you one of these guys that ain't seen your girl in, in two weeks, and three, okay, that's different. But if you guys know that, hey, I see my girl once or twice a week, but I'm building something fucking here and she's constantly nagging that that's, that's not enough. She has to go, guys. She's not going to be. You know what you'll start doing? You'll start trying to find ways to, you know, not work as hard on your purpose to accommodate her. That's not going to work for me. Your purpose comes first. Next, guys, last always accusing you of cheating or checking out other women. Very toxic, guys. Ain't nothing worse than being with a woman when you're out with her in public and she accusing you of looking at other women. Before long, guys, you'll be looking down at the ground afraid to look at other women because you're afraid that she might think you're checking out other women. You cannot be with women like that, guys. That's Now, that's insecure. Now, if you doing it, then... She should say something, right? If you're doing shit that's causing insecurities in her every time a girl passes and you look in her ass, hey, it go both ways, guys. Like I tell you, you ain't supposed to be trying to create insecurities in her and she's not supposed to be trying to create insecurities in you. I'm talking about if you know you're not doing that, okay? If, yeah, if you got girls calling your phone and you're coming home with lipstick on your fucking neck, and yeah, you calling a spade a spade, then yes. But I'm talking about for my guys that are in re monogamous relationships and you know you're not doing that and you're being constantly accused of doing that. That is very toxic, guys. That is very, you cannot be around that. You seen a girl, well, I think the girl on uh, the movie Baby Boy, he was cheating. But you remember, let, let's assume that he wasn't cheating. You remember how she was just coming at him all the fucking time about cheating and fucking around? That's toxic, guys. You can't be around that. OK, so guys, if you got a woman that's real insecure and you know you're not doing anything and you're not checking out women in her face and she's accusing you of that shit, she has to fucking go. All right, guys. So these are all the traits that make a woman toxic. I'll get back with you guys next time.